Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel. It's uh, February 4th, 2024 at 6 in the morning. I wanted to get the earliest drive I could possibly get while the light's just coming out uh, so you guys can see what happened overnight all around the lake. Hope everyone's doing well. Don't forget to get your merch and help support the channel at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. I'd appreciate that type of love and support, and I'd love to see you guys sporting the gear up here. I've already seen a couple people wearing some gear, and it's just, it's so cool to see that, you guys. It makes me so happy. But anyway, we're going to go to the snowiest part of town while it's light, and then as I said, we're going to head around the lake. But I really wanted you guys to see the discrepancy in snow from down here to just up that hill that you see straight ahead. <clears throat> and also, those of you who come into town and need ski rentals, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. They have a snowboard shop and a ski shop, a block and two blocks away from the Big Bear Village. If you mention the channel, if you bring your own skis or snowboards in, they will wax your skis and snowboard for free. And if you want to save money on lift tickets up here, you can also go to getboards.com and purchase your lift tickets online. If you do it 72 hours before the time you planned on skiing, you'll save a bunch of money compared to if you walked to the ticket window when you got there to pay. You'll save if you go to getboards.com. And again, mention me and they will take care of you guys. All right, let's... Such a beautiful time in the morning. As soon as I get home, I'm crashing out though. I've, I think I just got about 30 minutes of sleep, which is good enough for me for a while. Anyway, we're on Sunset now. We just came off Moon Ridge Road. Now we're making a left on Silvertip. These roads are, are never much fun to drive. These ones climbing up. This uh, one, one is icy and snowy, but the temperature is showing 33 degrees right here. It should get down to freezing by the time we get up here to the top. It's not far, but it, it might be a high enough climb. Look, we're at 33 right now. turning right on Villa Grove, but we're going to make our first right-hand turn right here on Butte as soon as we, and yeah, see, this is, this is pretty sketchy stuff to drive on, but we shall, we shall be okay. We shall overcome. <laughs> and just keep an eye out on the amount of snow that we're about to hit compared to down the mountain, or down the hill, I should say. up so I like to get a little bit of momentum crawling up this hill I'm getting a I thought that was a snowflake but there's that's not possible there's no clouds anywhere around us it fell from the tree guys I'm, I'm, I'm peeking in the camera right now and I'm, I'm telling you you guys do not get the proper perspective on how steep this road is it's scary steep especially when there's ice and, and snow on it okay we're back to Villa Grove but Villa Grove on top and the temperature just dropped down to freezing I have a live feed going on right now so you guys can check in anytime there was some really great conversations last night some deep conversations so many of you are so cool like so cool so we'll sit and talk and talk on my live feed i'm not responding by typing it to you since the camera's right there facing out one of my windows um i just speak when you guys 
talk to me if you guys can hear me just fine. So it's it's pretty darn cool, but look at how beautiful this is up here. Look at how beautiful the sky is. Oh my goodness. Just something else. This is absolutely stunning. Especially with like the most beautiful color baby blue in the sky right there. Oh my gosh, it is really wonderful. I also don't think I say this enough. I know I say a lot, <laughs> but uh, um, I just wanted to say thank you to our first responders up here. Thank you to our police officers up here, um, all the fire crews, ev everybody that does safety for their occupation. Thank you for everything you do. I need to give you guys a lot more shout outs. This is incredibly beautiful. Through the camera, it looks like I'm flying, but I'm really not. But it really does look like it. to 20 but we're going to be bringing that to a halt real quick here this is a, a pretty nasty turn when there's snow and ice right here because it just keeps going it messes a lot of people up believe it or not another, I don't know, maybe another inch and a half up here overnight. Whatever they got, it's, it just looks beautiful. I can tell from the tire tracks in the road in front of me. Wow, this really is such a beautiful time of the morning. This is Upper Moon Ridge, you guys. Woo, beautiful, there's the beautiful moon. Just going down the, the hill. I always get worried about that up here.
is so pretty. Look at that view. Ooh. That is some view right there. La Crescenta now. So Villa Grove, since we kept going straight and we didn't deviate at all, once we just went through that that little street right there, how we made that right turn on that small street and then a, another quick right turn to put us here, Villa Grove turns into this street, La Crescenta, if you keep on going straight. On, on Villa Grove, obviously, if you keep going straight on Villa Grove. pretty good with snow up here. houses though have like some of these really big beautiful houses have really steep driveways which that's got to be such a bummer because it's got to be scary driving up and here we go this is wolf i believe we're turning left onto wolf right now It's been nice not having to pass or be behind anybody up here. And what I mean by pass is like the cars coming the other direction. Just, just to not have any cars on this drive so far up here. It's, it's, been, it's been great. Yeah, we're in the snowiest part of Big Bear, guys. Upper Moon Ridge. And it is not disappointing in terms of being the snowiest part. start going down now to the right this is called Canyon Crest I'm a little bit nervous we're gonna keep it in first I've only used X mode twice in this vehicle ever and and who knows maybe this year I'll have to use again can you guys see that straight ahead you, you can see it snowing from that cloud right there look at how cool that looks look at how cool that is you guys like that is just unbelievable. Wow. Truly amazing. 
And here's Bear Mountain over here. Right there, right through there. sketchy part there's there's one more sketchy a little sketchier part of this route right here that takes you uh, on this like sharp left hand turn very steep I'm, I'm always nervous about this one all right this street is called Calusa nobody coming all right we're going down Calusa folks start going down in just a second yeah there's some clouds rolling in where it's snowing over there oh I love it so all right here we go thankfully there's these snow berms so if we do lose control a little bit we'll slide right into that but we're not gonna lose control I'm telling you, bear looks so beautiful through these trees behind the houses. Oh, yeah. Yep, here we go. We're, we're getting to the steep part here. worry about the cars that park where that car is parked because it's right in the firing line of a car sliding out oh my gosh this is so sketchy uh, once we straighten out here we can let go of the brake a little bit and then start tapping the brake a little bit more like this oh thank gosh We made it. On the free sledding locations, this area straight in front of us, this is one of them. I have a, a playlist video called Four Free Sledding Locations. Basically, this is where it is. And this, this little gully runs all the way through most of Moonridge. So it's, you can find plenty of spots, just make sure you park in the proper spot. I already see there's some sled marks over there. That makes me happy. Alright, now we're turning left on sheep horn. Since it's still early, we're gonna swing by bear and then we're gonna, I believe, uh, Head around the lake real quick. Maybe. <laughs> this has already been kind of a long drive already. We're getting back down into Middle Moon Ridge here. And that stop sign you see up here, that's Moon Ridge Road. We're gonna hang a left.
Look at the first car we've seen is a snowplow. Very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, it's such, such a beautiful place, you guys. My goodness gracious. We got a beautiful golf course over here to the right. on the golf course, it's, it's something else. All right, we usually would go up left on Lassen, but since we are gonna do the lake drive, which is gonna be great, we're gonna just cut by Bear real quick and take a look at Bear from here, through the window. You guys ready for this beautiful view? That's just, that's beyond beauty right there. sun starts actually popping up but I don't think there's any chance I, I thought we could we could do it but it doesn't look like it we are on club view up there make it look like a flat top on, on top of the mountain. Here's the zoo to the right. This whole area right here is our zoo, the Big Bear Alpine Zoo. And you don't really see any trees in there, do you? <laughs> Except the one right out front, that big tree right there. Back on Moon Ridge Road. I think we're gonna hit some clouds when we get to the dam, you guys. And it might be snowing over there, or foggy, or both, or none.
Bear Boulevard, and then we will make our trek around the beautiful lake of Big Bear. The gorgeous lake of Big Bear. driving into those clouds, I'm pretty sure about it, or at least really close. I like to drive this direction around the lake, which it probably wouldn't be impacted right now, today, but usually because there's a lot of traffic coming this other way from cars coming into town. So I like to just avoid all the traffic always. Chain conditions exist in mountain areas, that sign says. Chain, chain, chain. Chain conditions. All right, here's one of the get board shops right here on the corner. That's the ski shop. Keep in mind, we're two blocks from the village. The next light after this is the village. And then here's the, another get board shop. That is the snowboard shop right there. You guys will be stoked. I would never refer you somewhere that I didn't think was absolutely amazing. For those of you wondering why them out of everybody else, because over the years I've heard really, really good things about them from a lot of people. And I knew quite a few folks that have worked there also. And it's, it's, it's always been super positive. And so I went in and uh, because I want to help you guys out as much as I can, I asked him if, if, if you'd mind if I'd um, make some videos talking about them and sending people their way. Of course, they wouldn't mind, obviously, if if you're just hooking them up like that. But he was he was super cool. Asked me if if I wanted to use some skis to go skiing and stuff. So yeah, it, it was like super cool. He hooked it up like that, and I got to go skiing a couple times without having to pay for, for for the rentals so that was that was unbelievable I was super stoked but again the main reason I refer them is because as I said I've heard really great things about them and the people that I know that have worked there and still do work there are just really great people
favorite nice hotel here. It's called the Club at Big Bear Village. It's a blue-green resort. And you can see this hotel right here also, the biggest room they offer, and then one of the biggest rooms that nicest hotel in, in Big Bear offers on my playlist. I have videos of both hotels. And as I said, I think I stayed in the biggest room that that second hotel I just pointed out, the, the biggest room that they offer. I think it was like 1,200 square feet or something. And then my wife and I stayed in a three bedroom, just amazing place at this uh, Blue Green Resort. Really amazing place, you guys. A, a bit pricey, but we went off season, like in the summertime during the week. So we didn't, uh, we got hooked up. We got hooked up. It was like just under 300 per night and we stayed I think two nights, maybe three nights. I, I think it was only two nights because it was still, you know, 600. Yeah, it was two nights. But in the winter time, like this time of year, that room's probably a thousand bucks. Cause I, I saw it on Expedia once for like 1100 bucks and uh, I mean, I thought I would never have a chance to stay there, and then when I saw the price go down to like two two eighty or something, I I told my wife we have to jump on that. It'll be cool to make a video there for the friends on the channel as well. I'd like to stay in every single lodge that they offer up here. Every everything other than the Airbnbs, and then once we've we finished all the, all these hotels then um, maybe, you know, stay in, in, in some of the better known Airbnbs for you guys. But the ones that I want to stay in are like the freaking mansions, you guys, like the huge mansions. And those are so expensive. And it's always just my wife and myself. So yeah, as you can see coming in, there are a few cars coming in right now. Wow, a lot. Yep, that sun's popping up now. Civic Center. It's a pretty building, right? Very pretty. Yeah, guys, we're already under the clouds. Those clouds that I pointed out way back there, we are already getting under them right now. Temperature is 33 degrees. Wonder if we'll get lucky and hit a couple snowflakes driving over here. As you guys saw the first part of this video, one of the most beautiful skies in history. <laughs> it was insane. There's another get board shop right there. That's their summer shop where they rent kayaks and all the stuff you need to go on the lake. Here's Boulder Bay Park. It's such a wonderful place.
just passed, as I said, Boulder Bay Park, and we are technically in the snowiest part of the whole valley. When it comes to the valley floor, where we just drove at the beginning of this video, that's the snowiest place in all of Big Bear when it comes to any lodging. So that neighborhood, Upper Moon Ridge, because of its elevation and being right against the uh, mountain right there, they get a lot of snow up there. And so does the very top of Sugarloaf, but Upper Moon Ridge is the number one spot. I'm referring to when I say this is the snowiest part of the whole entire valley, it is at the valley floor elevation, not like the top of Upper Moon Ridge or the top of Sugarloaf. This is the snowiest place though in all of Big Bear. So if you can find a hotel or an Airbnb between the Big Bear Village and the Big Bear Dam, it's the, the snowiest part of town and the closer you get to the dam, the more snow you will get. And it's every time you guys, so trying to help you other snow lovers out to, when you come up here to stay in a place that gets a lot of snow. If you don't want much snow, you just want to be up here, go skiing, and, and, and don't want to be shoveling out possibly or anything like that, then you want to stay in like Baldwin Lake. Yeah, look at this. We're driving into the fog, folks. going to be great when we come around the lake and then pull out of this fog right into that beautiful blue sky oh my gosh this is gonna what a, this is gonna be a fantastic video just fantastic oh boy it's gonna be fantastic like a million thumbnails that would be so beautiful for these videos just on this drive already This guy's driveway. That's that's a bummer, huh? <laughs> Beautiful view of the lake. You can see kind of where the sky is turning blue out. Wow, I'm telling you all. I am telling you all. People are flying into town today. I mean, just flying. All right, we're almost to the dam. Just another right and then left and we'll be there. part of town technically. Alright, we're turning right here on Highway 38. They have the chain checkpoint straight ahead. They're not going to let you down unless you have the proper equipment and they're not going to let you up from the bottom unless you have the proper equipment. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh, thank you so much. What a blessing this beautiful view on this drive is today. these 
clouds here and then you got the blue sky and then there's clouds just past it. It looks unbelievable. Look at that. Holy moly. Look at that. <laughs> oh man. I said way out in the distance those are some thick thick clouds out there that's what must have just rolled through oh my goodness oh. yes thank you yes hope everyone's having a beautiful day hope you got a good night's sleep last night and I hope you enjoyed the video because this is one of my favorite videos that I've ever done doesn't get better than this. I think it's the most beautiful morning video I've ever done. We're about to go into the eagle habitat where Jackie and Shadow, our famous little eagles, live. Not right now, but in just a second. left-hand side up here guys I'll show you approximately where I think it is it is just right along this this little strip so where that Jeep's passing right now to the left-hand side in one of those trees right there as a matter of fact It's over here, somewhere, somewhere over here. A 
again, that's where our famous little eagles live. And they just laid three eggs. Or not they, she did. Welcome to Fawn Skin, y'all. Go slow past the tributary to see how beautiful that looks today. We'll come out and record that once during this series of storms. There's no one behind us, not even close, so we can slow way down for right here. Temperature's 34 degrees. So we're looking out towards Snow Summit and Bear Mountain over here on that side of the mountain over there, across the lake. skin. We're on Highway 38, also known as North Shore.
here to the right is the Serrano Campgrounds. Again, it's about to get bright. Little peaks of it. serious when I say this might be one of the most pretty morning drives even though there's not a, like five feet of snow out there just how everything's looking how the sky is looking the different colors the cloud cover uh, it's it's just something something really special guys Stanfield Cutoff runs at one end of the lake. So we're going to be right here at the very end of the lake looking out towards the direction of the Big Bear Dam. And it's going to be gorgeous. Look at this side also. Oh, it's beautiful. 
but we're gonna go back to this side. at the boulevard and we're gonna take one more little beautiful little side street that gives you an incredible view of Snow Summit and Bear Mountain this next street we're gonna to want to turn right and then just follow it around and there, there won't be any obstruction really you'll just get boom that beautiful beautiful view right there Once we straighten out over here, oh, it's just amazing. Oh my gosh. There it is. I appreciate you guys watching. I really do. Thanks for being here. Thanks for all, all the support. We got a live feed going right now still. That one's going to end at 10 in the morning, but then we're going to start another one when it starts to rain and snow later on today at about 3 or 4 p.m. Um, so I hope to see you guys there. But yeah, thanks again for everything. Go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to get your merch. We got shirts. We got shirts, beanies, uh, candles, um, coffee mugs hoodies puffers we got it all so check it out you guys i appreciate you guys and uh have a great rest of your day i'm gonna need to get a, a little bit of rest but this was a very rejuvenating drive because of the exceptional beauty way more pretty than usual anyway i love you guys it's february 4th 2024 we'll talk to you soon bye